All right, so greetings, salutations, and as you can see behind me, we have a new floor added. And to be honest, it's probably the last little bit we're going to add to this build. So in addition to looking at that, we are going to do a full walkthrough of the build, just a generic overview. So let's get to it. We of course have our bridge over, nice little carpeted in general. I'm pretty happy with this. I still really like the banners. I like the carpet caps. We get inside. I still like the color of the roof. Still like all this opening. Nothing down here has changed. Still the same old spot. So we'll just kind of breeze through. We'll get up here. That's where we start the new stuff. Still have our balcony. But all right, so. Got a little creative on our way back because I wanted to keep the footprint for the water elevator as small as possible. So I continued the furnace roof as we pushed this back and we pushed it back a total of, I think it's three arches, two arches, one arch in here. Then this is technically the second arch, but it has two pillars to support the water. Opted not to put anything back here on the walls because there's really no need for decoration. Then we're using signs on the side to hold the water pillar elevated. And because we have the signs there, that allows us to do right over two blocks, the ascent, descent. For getting up here, you've got just two little paintings and then the first level balcony. If I were to have this as my survival build, this layer and the layer above would be where I'd be filling it with cats. So why is the room empty and not have stuff in it? Well, it's because, well, let's just go ahead and do it. Cat, 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 cat. This is how my actual build would look, although they'd all be tamed. I'm going one level up. This is the, I guess it'd be the uh, king's balcony, the owner's balcony. It's the one that you're actually going up on. I've got things set up on those sides so I can get up on top of the fences. I just enjoy being up here. It gives me the best view I could possibly get. We'll see both of our other builds. Flowers, just using the two basic flowers. Our netherite armor present as long as two chests for cats to sit on. And then the blue room. We, uh, I went through a couple iterations of what this could be from glass dome to stained glass panes to Oh, what else was in here? Several variations of what we've got now. And this is what we ultimately decided on. So we've got a blue glass block, light blue glass, right? Light blue? Yeah. Light blue stained glass roof that is just flat, covers it. It is edged over by the polished andesite. Then went with clear panes for the viewing view out over the desert, view out over the builds, and then a view out over the plains, which is probably where our next build is going to be. We have our cat here, same colors as Urist, so is up here on the bed. Everything up here went with blue theme, as I think the blue goes very well with the andesite. And yeah, that's the build. It's outside for the balcony. We went with similar to what we had done below with the leaves and then the glowstone. Though because when you're down here, it can be difficult to see the leaves and get any reasonable texture off of them. Or where did I see it from? I think it was over here at this dune. Where you could see the leaves, just thickening them up a little bit gives it a little bit better texturing up at the top rather than just having it sitting on top. It gives the build a little bit more depth for the remainder of the surroundings, just again, edited the dirt, but most of that had been done previously. But I think it's a pretty good build. I would be pleased to have this on any of our survival servers, be it our bedrock or be it over on the uh, Java one. If we wanted to put in a mine, that would be really easy to sink back in behind that second level. Just go down into the mountain, into the ground, dig back out under the plateau. So what are we gonna be getting to in the future? Given that we have finished up, you're kind of a micro build, but one of the micro builds, I think it's only fair, we're gonna to go to a second micro build. Our next mega build's gonna be over there. 
but for the micro build, we're gonna be going all the way back over here, back when we made this bridge across. We're gonna be putting in a birch settlement here is I guess what we're gonna call it. I think it's gonna occupy just in here. A couple small houses, some farms, and we're gonna go for more of a Native American approach. So trying to set it up Iroquois-like, gonna be using fireplaces rather than lanterns, rather than torches, and just seeing if we could do something different. Maybe even build like a little shrine underneath there, I don't know. My mind is at work. I think we've got some really cool things we could do over here. And we've got a lava fall that's burned down some stuff and also spawned the chickens. Or the chickens spawned the lava, one or the other. That happened. Sun is up, build is over. Guys, I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. It's gonna be enjoyable. We've got our builds. We're building up our Minecraft world. And in general, I mean, just looking back at the other builds, I really like how they're turning out. Each is something different, each is something unique. And yeah, it's not your standard Minecraft. It's just some more Minecraft. So with that said, best of vibes to you all. I hope you guys are having great days, great nights, staying healthy. Cheers.